here at Tankers, Monk 25 here, commentating on the Star Series Season 2 Final. This year, it's between Arcade and E-Guards. Both teams fought very well in the competition, especially to get this far, but now they face the final toughest test, and luckily you've tuned in to find out who wins. If we look at the lineups, we can see that Arcade's gone very traditional, I recognise all of these players, especially Jandalo7, who I'm not sure many of you know, but is the most accurate player in Tekken 1 Cybersport at the moment. Now I don't know as much about E-Guards, because I haven't been following this season, but they look like they have a good mix of light and medium hulls, which should benefit them well in the battle. Both teams are currently sizing each other up, checking that there's nothing foul play going on here. A couple of tankers have managed to pick up supplies as well. Obviously supplies are thrown into these mix with these battles, so it can make it very interesting sometimes. I think we're just about to start, both teams gathering into their bases, getting ready to go, and we are off. For those of you who don't know about the formats, each team is allowed a certain number of light and medium hulls, along with paints adding up to a specific amount of total protection. Obviously you can see some of the arcade teams bought in Gladiator, which I don't know if it will give them an advantage over Egods, but it certainly looks cool. I think at the moment RK is sort of playing defensive, whereas Egos are trying to attack, possibly trying to catch Arcade off guard at the very beginning, gain an early lead. I don't know about their tactics, but they've definitely trained well to do that. Now, Svavochnik in the corner, he's been killed by a double damage shot there. So he'll be very unhappy with that. He was doing quite well though. Cop 9 now, both Smokies in a small battle. Obviously you do get Smokies as well, just to add a little bit into the mix, but some players do get protection against Smokies. Which kind of makes it fair, I would say. Cult 9 out in the corner, being backed up here by Spravochnik. Sorry about my Russian pronunciation. It's pretty poor, so I, I may sound a bit weird when saying some of the names here. See, Officer, double damage shot there. Supplies certainly do add a new element to, the, to these battles. I think the Red Alert map is probably one of the favourite maps for XP, especially in the Star Series. It has its good mix of good and bad areas when attacking and defending and getting away with the flag, and it suddenly adds a lot of interest to the game. Gangstackel here, he's just blocked off Cot9 beautifully. Cot9 still got the flag though, he's been fought off. Gangstackel is dead, Cot9 is away with the flag. He's quite well backed up here, Semgrand behind him. Cot's dead, Semgrand has taken the flag. He's been killed. Jan 7 coming in for the return. He's been shot off it. That is unlucky. Officer now coming in. I show him taking the flag. Looks pretty defenceless though. Officer. He's on he's on the base, so he should be pretty well protected. I show him coming around the back trying to get away from Sam Grand. Can he manage it? I think he's kind of playing himself in Buddha track. The whole team on his back now. Holy hero, double damage. This can't go well. Nope, and it hasn't. And that is 1-0 to E-Guards. Very good attacking play there. I think they tried to catch him off guard at the beginning, and it worked quite well. Arcade didn't really have the time and numbers to get up there quickly. Now, obviously, the main combination for this... Oh, UDJ IK has taken the flag, actually. Let's look at this. Gangstackle, he's taken it off because he lost it. Cop 9 has been killed, and now he's lost the flag, but Pard coming in. They must have trained for hours to manage moves like this. Pard, oh, now that is very sneaky. Quick pass over to Jan. Jan has captured one all very, very short space of time here. Excellent counter-attacking play, I think. As I was saying, Hornet and Railgun is probably the prime combination for these things. But I've recently read an article in the forum, which was called Hornet and Failgun. I know it's a pun, but I think it's a bit of an unfair one. I mean, it is one of the biggest combos used in the game. And a lot of the people posting on that topic were low ranks. So, I think that M3 is when XP really does come alive. It's especially shown by all these players, most of whom, who have M3, Hornet and Railgun at the moment. And also, why would we have XT? I'll talk about that a bit later. But Cot9 has now taken the flag. Trying to get away with it. Pard comes in. Pard has blocked him. 
that must have been very well trained. I don't think there's going to be a second attack from Egos for a while. Only Hero, he's been beaten off quite quickly, I think. Yep, and he's dead. Talking about XT, what did you think of it? I loved it. I bought it on the fourth day before the end. Because at first I thought, no people, that price is ridiculous. But I thought the discounts on it were really, really good. Now, it was very overpowered compared to other tanks, but that was just because of the number of micro upgrades, which actually led me to micro upgrade other stuff. I wonder what effect it's had on your playing, because I certainly loved it, and I think you probably did too. Now, if we look a bit of action here, both teams have the enemy flag. Semgrain coming down the middle now. Looks like he's kept it. Not much Pug can do here. I think, oh wow, that was quick. I was not expecting that. 2-1 to Egods. Now, the question is, will they look to extend this lead, or will they look to just keep defending? Make sure that they can solidly win this round. Obviously, it is a matter of rounds. It's, this battle isn't going to decide the whole thing. RK could lose, and could come back in the next round and win it. Egard could lose, which would be quite a big comeback from Arcade. And then, they could still come back. Now, if we look, attack in the bottom right here. Same ground and Tudor fire. Joe 7 comes into the shot, excellently dodged there. Coming in, I think this could be a decent chance. Sam Grand killed, caught 9 now, against Tom Riddle. Tom Riddle, he's got the shot away, killed, caught 9, but Tudor fire. This is a very many staged attack. Can he get away with it? He's lost it to Holy Hero Alex now, and he's got away. Very quick attacking, lots of players up there. I think, wow, he could get away with this, hit a wall. Walls are, the, are my bane in this game, really. I hate them. But he's captured 3-1 to Egods. This is a really solid lead. I'm not sure there's much RK can do against it. Oh, they're taking the flag again. But no, there, there wasn't much chance for COT9 now, was there? Now, one of the things that differentiates this year's competition from last year's is that there's a lot less hype about it. Last year, I don't remember if many of you can remember this, but there was the paint, and I love that. It was a bit of gambling, a bit of fun. And I thought it was a really good idea, but they haven't done this year, this year which was quite disappointing, actually. So I got 3,000 from it, which was very nice. Now, I, I want to know, I think Arcade will continue to try attacking. But they're going to be, have to be quite careful. A 4-1 lead now would basically end it for them. I show them now, coming down the middle... UDJ OK, I haven't seen that. He's taken the flag. Can he get away with it? Going around the corner, one hit off him, two hits. Don't think there's much chance. Gangstackel, he's lost as well, but Ishoma's taken it. Very low life, Ishoma. Fought off officer. I, I wasn't offending Ishoma, I'm not calling him a low life. He is amazing. It's just he didn't have much health. But here, Alex actually has taken the arcade flag. He's sat down the bottom now. Got it into the base. Kind of reached a bit of a stalemate. Both teams of each flag has got it back into the base. So I want to see how this one plays out. It's past the flag to Cot 9. It doesn't seem like something that big, passing the flag to someone with more health. But actually, it can be a really effective method of just keeping that flag for a bit longer. And most people think it's just kept for XP. But I've seen it used in proper battles, which you wouldn't expect because you get a lot of XP hoggers who just have their flag, want to keep their flag, and will drug to keep their flag. Officer has actually now got the flag. He has the most points in Tanky Online Cybersport, which theoretically makes him the best player. So I don't know how that will pan out in this battle. Pard has been killed off Tom Riddle, making tack now, taken down by Cot9. Jan is 7 <gasps> he's missed. That was unexpected from Jan. 1 minute 45, Cot9 has the flag at the bottom. I really don't see a way out for Arcade now. It's going to be quite tough. I couldn't see who that was down in the bottom. I think it was UDJIK. He's just been killed. John 7 collecting a couple of supplies here. Come down the right. Hasn't been spotted, but he's destroyed Cot9. Now, has Provochnik got the power to take him down? John 7 hasn't been spotted. Charges up, he's taking down Spravochnik, it's a return, and a capture, 3-2. Okay, now, this is very close. They've got the flag again, whoa, Jan 7 
coming out the base. If if he managed this, he's passed a gang tackle. No, 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 no. This is not going to happen. Gang tackle. Taking another hit. Anti. He's done it. He's done it. Three all. Three all. Wow. That was very good counter attacking play there. I was not expecting that. 40 seconds left now. Which team will make the final break? Possibly try and take it. Arcade. Nope, they've lost the Eagles flag. I think to the fire now, defending against Ishoma. Egot, by taking the enemy flag. Sam Grand, kind of cornered himself. Didn't take any hits though. Whole team gathering down the bottom. This is the final attack of the game, I'm guessing. Can they get away with it? They're all lining up, getting shot quite badly. To the fire, 10 seconds. UJK is taking the flag. There's not much that can be done now. It's going to end stalemate. And it's over three all.